Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you some Arabic by using a Facebook post from Al Jazeera. Yeah, even if you know zero Arabic, after you finish watching this video, you will be able to understand an Arabic post just like a native speaker. For those of you who doesn't know Al Jazeera, it is one of the top news organizations around the world. First, what does Al Jazeera mean? In Arabic, Al Jazeera is an island, you know, a place surrounded by water. Why did they call it this name? Well, if you want to know the answer to that question and get more information regarding this organization, I will put all the links in the description. Back on track. Now, I'm going to read the post, then we'll break it down in order to learn some Arabic words and phrases. Tajawwal ma'ana fi qasr al ilizi al maqar al rasmi. لرئيس جمهورية فرنسا والذي يرجع تاريخ بنائه إلى القرن الثامن عشر. This post was published after Emmanuel Macron was elected as the French president. So I'm going to explain the key phrases of this post to make it easy for you guys to understand the whole thing. تجول معنا means take a tour with us or take a visit with us. Qasr al-Ilizi is the Ilizi Palace. Al-Maqar al-Rasmi means the official headquarters or the official residence. Ra'is Jumhuriyat Faransa means President of French Republic. Tarikhu Bina'ihi means the date of its construction. Al-Qarn al-Thamin Ashar means the 18th century. Okay, now let's use what we have learned to explain the meaning of the post. Tajawwal ma'ana fi qasr al ilizi means let's take a tour in the Ilizi Palace or take a tour with us in the Ilizi Palace. Al maqar al rasmi li ra'isi jumhuriyat Faransa. The official residence of the French Republic president. Walladhi yarji'u tarikhu bina'i ila al qarn which was built or which was constructed in the 18th century and that's it now i'm going to read the post again you should already understand what i'm talking about الثامن عشر تجول معنا في قصر الإليزي المقر الرسمي لرئيس جمهورية فرنسا والذي يرجع تاريخ بنائه إلى القرن الثامن عشر I suggest that you repeat listening to the Arabic post for many many times and then try to speak the post by yourself Don't be afraid to make mistakes This is how you improve your speaking skills If you like this video Please subscribe to this channel. You're going to get more stuff that help you speak Arabic native. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.